For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. For the record, you ain't trying to grow that stuff for you. For the record, lab on me going all the way. For the record, ain't trying to link no time to waste. For the record, for the record, for the for the record, for the record, for the record. Welcome back, people. It's Don't Sleep on the Couch podcast. I'm your boy, Mr. Prez, a.k.a. Sergeant Raider. And to my left, you got... I'm the second half. I go by Cash, a.k.a. Fly Eagles Fly, a.k.a. Exec P. What's happening, good people? What's good? What's good, man? So, uh, hey, we we, we staying true to this routine here, man. We getting you the previews out. Uh, we we do the reviews at on Monday. So, yeah, this is week 12, week 12, man. Yeah, yeah, we may have to do a late review because, you know, with the time difference, we're here in Germany, so it is what it is. Eagles have a Monday night game, unfortunately. Uh, you know, for your view and pleasure, people, I'm sorry. They, they're not giving you much to look at, but they are my Eagles, and it is what it is, man. Man, this this is going to take a true test, man, because, like, if you saying you already sounding down, and this is like a 3 o'clock game. Three o'clock all the way to probably like five thirty. He's gonna have to go to work. He ain't gonna get no sleep. What I'm trying to say. No, no, I ain't gonna get no sleep, <laughs> and I'm gonna be angry at the outcome. <laughs> you staying but, up for it though? Yeah, I'm staying up for it. Uh, I, I, you know, I gotta see it. You know, we these are one of the wins that we need to have. Of course, I mean, we're losing grip on the first. In fact, I think I think the Reds. Oh, sorry, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. In got, fact, I'm disgusted by the person sitting <laughs> here. In fact, no disrespect. <laughs> it's out of habit. I I apologize. The Washington football team is in first by all accounts, and they are probably going to stay there after Monday night. But I'm going to give you some keys to how we can make it happen. Ready to get into this, Brad? Yeah, yeah. You you ready? You ready? So uh, let's let's take a quick look back real quick. Last week, y'all had the the Giants. Oh, the Browns. We had the Browns. Oh, the Browns. The Browns. My my fault, y'all. Lost two in a row. Yes, two in a row. Okay. Coming on the hills of two, two okay, losses. Okay, so you yeah. had, had two losses. Uh, did you have any bright, bright spots in that Brown game, something that you can look forward to? Uh, the defense. The defense got some turnovers. They got to Baker Mayfield almost at will. They provided consistent pressure just like they normally been doing. So that's nothing any different than what we've been doing all season long. You know what I'm saying? In fact, we're number two in sacks. We got 32 sacks. Wow. You know what I mean? 76 quarterback hits. That's third in the league. So our rush isn't the problem. And actually, our pass defense is even better. They're in sixth, 206 yards per game. So the defense gives up plays in inopportune times. But for the most part, they've been the most consistent bunch on the field. So, you know, but again, when you keep on turning it over, you keep on third and outs, then, you know, Eventually, they're going to break. You yeah, know? I mean, yeah, sounds like that defense give a ton of effort and all they have. And then when you got on the other side, Carson Wentz just gives it away. Yeah. So, I mean, let, let's let's really get into it. And I'm going to touch on Carson Wentz because it's a lot that's come up. Uh, Doug Peterson's press conference this, this week oh. where he was asked a question and directly about changing quarterbacks. And he, he used some mental gymnastics. But he said as of Wednesday right now, you know, kind of go, not really saying that he wasn't going to make the change, but didn't definitively defend Carson. So he's probably grown tired of the BS and yeah. the questions being asked because, you know, Philly fans, we we not we not too kind to to mediocrity, man, no. especially with having a Super Bowl in the last within the last five years. Like we are antsy to get back and be relevant again. But right now it's just not happening. And it's a lot of different reasons. But let's get into the Seahawks. All right, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. So we got the Seahawks. Yes. Uh, you 20. got MVP candidate Russ Wilson coming to town. Uh, you said your defense starting off pretty good. So what, what's your game plan to actually stop them? Tell, tell me how do you see the game playing out? Well, I mean, we've played two straight quarterbacks who have legs on them. But this is by far the best quarterback as far as how smart he is with the ball and what he does and how he just – he tucks it the right way. He gets down on time. He knows that line of scrimmage. And just before he gets there, he tosses it right over your head. Like, he he's out there playing games with defenders when he's in his bag. But last year, we played this team twice. And then last week, I don't know if you guys recall. I don't know if it was on the recap or if it was on the um, the uh, preview to the Browns game where we were talk, kind of talking about quarterbacks 
that we we fear, well, he's one of them. He's one of them that I fear at all times because he can win the game on his own. But I am afraid of DK Metcalf, and I'm also afraid of Tyler Lockett. Like they can they can go deep with either one of those guys, and they eat you up in the middle of the field. That is pick your poison right there. They're gonna kill us as far as our linebacking core with these little dink and dunks and stuff like that. Uh, they just got Carlos Hyde back, so I'm kind of worried about that. He ran, he didn't run wild, but he provided that balance to Seattle that they, you know, how uh, Pete Carroll likes to do that run uh, pass option, and that just kind of unlocks Russell's game. So I'm really, really, really scared of that. Um, two, two times last year. Uh, we really weren't in the game. You know, The I'll start with the five turnovers that we had in uh, week 12 exactly of last year when we played them. Uh, five, five turnovers, you know, two on our wide receivers, I believe, two on Carson Wentz and one, one fumble. Or I may have that. Carson may have had one interception. I don't know. But anyway, it was five on the offense in general. And um, it, it, it was all over the field. It was receivers, running backs, quarterback. At all levels. So what can you do about that, you know? Yeah. I think uh, old Deuce Deuce is going to be uh, Carson Wentz, or it should be his number, because that's all he does, like throw at least two turnovers or two interceptions a game. Yeah, and he was he was pretty uh, awful last week, lad, later in the game. He, yeah. he held it together for the most part. Uh, he had one turnover early, you know, that that went for a pick six. But, again, he he can't be the reason why. We are in these holes while we are losing these games. You got to be the last person, especially if you wear that C on your chest. Yeah. You can't be the reason and no more cookie cutter answers in a press conference. Like, I got to be better. Be better. Be better then. Like, <laughs> I mean, you know what I'm saying? Um, it, I don't know if this guy can really trust the team at this point, but I, I, I got to say that he's in his head right now. And with these last two losses to Seattle last year in the playoffs and in the regular season, you know, I mean, it was no Carson in the playoffs, but we were on that four-game winning streak heading into that game. And I like to think he would have done well in that game because we only lost that game 17-9 to with good old faithful, uh, what's his name, Josh McCown, <laughs> you know, the 40-year-old wonder. So, I mean, the, the, the game is really going to come down to we can keep it close with Seattle. Because they are 32nd, Perez. I did not know this in pass defense. So we can get if. Yeah. But, but we, our receivers can't separate. So that stat is something nice and something to look at. But at the same time, it's like, well, if we haven't done it all year with these receivers, then, then win. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's going to be some good questions, man. Because like, like you're saying, yeah, they may be 32nd in defense, but that offense can go. Their offense can really, really go. Now, y'all's can at time when you have everybody on the team, but to that to y'all detriment, it always seems to be Carson Wentz. So uh, you, you you alluded to it earlier. They talking about oh, it may be a possibility of a change. Are you uh, at that point where you're ready for a change? See what Hurts has, or are you saying still stick it out and like let them keep riding out? But obviously, at this point. We got enough. We done seen enough of Carson Wentz. What, what's your thoughts on it? My true thoughts are we are still in the playoff hunt. No matter how bad our, our division is, we're still in the playoff hunt. You go with what's for sure and what's for certain. Um, regardless of how bad he's been playing, he's getting paid a certain amount of money. It ain't no way in the world from the owner on down that Jalen Hurts gets to start outside of Carson Wentz being injured. That's just the fact of the matter. Uh, do I want to see Jalen Hurts? Not necessarily. I mean, the gadget plays that he, they've had him in there, he hasn't done anything to wow me like a Taysom Hill. Like Taysom Hill, at least you got to see, oh, okay, he provides this. But the gadget plays that he has had out there hasn't been anything that wowed me. I know what he can do in a college offense, but this is uh, the NFL. This is the big boys. And I'm not willing to try to see how he does, especially when we have a chance to get to the postseason. Okay. Okay. Uh, so do you want to make any like final prediction and final thoughts on it? Final predictions. This will be a close game if we can limit turnovers on offense. I don't think it's going to be. Uh, I'll, I'll, say, I'll say this. Limit turnovers on offense. I know we're going to have one or two. It's just the way things have been going. But it just depends on what side of the field they're on. Then number two, our defense has to score. Like, I know that's a tall order to ask, but they have to score. And Russell Wilson, 
he's really out of the MVP contention, to be honest with you, from the last couple of weeks of tossing a whole lot of balls to the other team. So I'm hoping that I can see that Russell Wilson this week to get off to a good start in Philly. That, that's all I'm hoping is that the defense comes up big because our pass defense has been pretty damn good. We haven't given up a lot of big plays. We've given up chunk plays, but not like in prior years. So that's kind of what I'm looking forward to as far as the keys to the game. I haven't seen anything to think otherwise, Prez, to think that we're going to win this game, but those are some of the things that can help. So, it, it, but it's, at the end of the day, y'all going to need wins because Washington football team, they seem pretty decent on defense, and they're going to continue to to get wins in this later stretch. Y'all got a chance of beating the Cowboys. They still don't look like they're going to be formidable foes. Uh, Washington football team, I think y'all got those them one more time. Mm-hmm. But you're going to have to do more than that because you got to win the division because nobody else from this division is getting a wild card spot. Right, we, we got to win both of the lat. We got the Cowboys and the Washington football team at the end. We have to win both of those games to get in and one of these next upcoming yeah. games. So. I'm thinking possibly the Cardinals game and this game. These are, those are the two teams with the most holes. I don't think we do anything with the Packers or anything against the Saints. So there, there you have it, man. Um, not not a bright spot, but it's an honest spot. That's where we are, Eagles fans. <laughs> That's what you get, man. Nothing but honesty from these uh, Eagles fans. I wish y'all came with a little bit more enthusiasm. Lie to me from time to time. Get hyped. <laughs> can't, 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 man. I've been hyped the last couple of weeks, and it's – all I got is egg on my face, so it is what it is. Prez, man, you just you know you gotta be realistic, so you don't set yourself up for the fail. Hey, I feel you on that. All right, man, we out. All right, live was fly.